In this video, we're going to review how the different versions of the code have been implemented in LibreBridge Concrete. So, as I have a bridge defined, I start my project selecting the Ashto code. Okay? Now, when I go to the design of the superstructure, someone will give me the option to switch between the LRFD code 7 either using the 2015 or 2016 interims. So if we have a project that is already being started using this version of the code, well, certainly I can go and um, proceed doing the design with that version. On the other hand, if I have a project, a new project that is starting, so maybe it should be doing with the LRFD 7 2016 interims. And there are changes on the code that are reflected on, on, on this. For example, uh, let's review one of maybe I would say one of the big changes on the code was on the substructure design. And if we go and one more time, look, I'm going to use the 2015 interims. Now, one way to review this is if I go to the loads, and for example, I'm going to select the wind analysis and this is the 2015 interims LRFD7 way to compute uh, wind analysis on the structure okay so now on the other hand if I go back to my project and say that's going to be the 2016 interims go to the same load, uh, review, and generate the wind. So it's a completely different way to compute, for example, the wind on the structure. So it's a big difference between the 2015 and 2016 interims. There's another video explaining the new enhancements regarding the new code in LibreBridge Concrete. Uh, I suggest you review it, but this is one way in which from the design of the superstructure or substructure, you can switch from not only the Ashto code, but also, as I'm showing here again, multiple versions of the LRFD code. Thank you.